Should we load a bunch of octopi up on ecstasy to see what happens is a question I didn't know needed an answer, but apparently the answer is yes. So back in 2015, a group of scientists sequenced the genome of an octopus for the first time, and while that is just riveting, the key part of our elucidation is that there's this protein inside of our brains, human brains, that binds serotonin to brain cells, and apparently octopi have it as well. Well, the other thing that protein does is get targeted by MDMA or ecstasy. And when Gold Dolan, a researcher of MDMA at Johns Hopkins University, heard this, she wanted to load up a bunch of octopi with ecstasy and in 2018 gold got her wish they started out by giving the poor things super high doses and i'll let gold tell us how that one went down quote they really didn't like it they looked like they were freaked out they were just taking these postures of super hyper vigilance they would sit in the corner of the tank and stare at everything unquote we've all been there haven't we once they lowered the dose to something akin to what we would take the results were vastly different quote after mdma they were essentially hugging really just much more relaxed in posture and using a lot more of their body to interact with the other octopus, end quote. Now, as I relayed this madness, I imagine some of you probably thought this was funny, most likely anthropomorphizing the cephalopods in some cute, endearing way. Others were probably trying to suss out what scientific value was gained by drugging a bunch of octopi and watching them hug each other. And I'm sure some sour asses were thinking that the whole thing was a massive waste of time and money and resources. And that's the thing. Whether you think this was a good idea or a bad idea, it happened. There's no changing that. A group of people petitioned to do this, and another group of people thought, yeah, let's drug these things and found the funding for it. And that's reality. It's just people having an idea and then executing that idea. And the whole reason I've gone on this oddly bizarre tangent is because I keep thinking about these drugged up octopi when I see people at a loss as to why their personal set of moral beliefs and ideas haven't taken root. There is no objective belief or truth. Everything is relative and decided upon by us as a collective. There is no action that is good or bad outside of our framing. And I think people deeply struggle with this. We decided to drug up a bunch of octopi, and we decided to land on the moon, and we decided to drop a nuclear bomb on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. All of those decisions are amoral in the abstract. They happened because people decided to make them happen. And I think the thing to understand is that just because you personally believe a certain course of action is the moral or ethical path, you might even think of it as the right or correct path, doesn't mean it's ever going to happen. The only way it happens is through collective action. And yes, you can argue that the current hegemony does everything it can to stifle that collective action, but that's another discussion for another day. The thing I really want to emphasize here is that idea of believing in your moral superiority. If you think that something is moral or ethical because your life experience has led you to that conclusion, just know that is exactly how the people opposed to your viewpoint are also thinking. And in the eyes of society, those opposing viewpoints carry equal weight. The easy path is the one in which we allow ourselves to succumb to the idea that our beliefs are somehow superior and lean into that authoritarian instinct. And and the problem with this is that by adopting an authoritarian viewpoint to disseminate your beliefs, given that they are in some way humanitarian, you will inevitably contradict those beliefs through their implementation. Okay, look, I usually have a nice way to wrap these things up, but today I kind of feel like a bag of dicks, so we're falling back on this misguided attempt at meta-commentary, and I'm just going to make like a tree and fuck off now.